More than $21 million in grant money is now in the hands of the city of Dallas to help make sure that streets are safer for drivers and for pedestrians. And it comes as the traffic death rate in Dallas hovers among the worst of the largest cities in the country. Our Larry Collins live this morning following this story from Dallas. Larry. Good morning, Evan. Yeah, Dallas city leaders say this $21.8 million will go a very long way to making safer streets and possibly saving lives. All in all, this will be a trans transformational project in a neighborhood that has historically gone without and needed the resources to keep up with rapid development happening. I must also recognize the additional investment and commitment by the city of Dallas. This, for those of you who don't know, was a grant that was applied for and um, did not get awarded originally. Uh, but the second time around, because of uh, the heavy lifting being done by our congresswoman, uh, we have the necessary investment in an area that has been neglected for too long and not had the investment uh, that is needed. Now, this is all part of the federal Safe Streets for All grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation. City of Dallas says it will go toward community roadway safety and addressing the preventable crisis of deaths on the road. Part of that grant has been allotted for Southern Dallas, where the city has committed to a program called Vision Zero. In particular, Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, identified for having some of the highest rates of fatal crashes and severe injury crashes involving pedestrians in the city of Dallas. Now, according to the city, in the past two years, five pedestrians have been severely injured because of traffic crashes here on MLK. A recent NBC5 investigation found that Dallas averaged about 15 traffic deaths for every 100,000 people from 2017 to 2021. The city lists some of the possible improvements from this grant money as reduced lanes, separated bike lanes to lower speeds, improved crosswalks, lighting upgrades, and traffic signal enhancements. Of course, city leaders hope that all those changes will go to curbing the issues that have been seen in this area. Live this morning in Dallas, Larry Collins, NBC5. Okay, Larry, thank you. Let's take a live look outside here in Fort Worth this midday. The rain is gone. The clouds still hanging tough, though, across the north of Texas. Let's get a check on your forecast with meteorologist Adrian Vaughn. It's windy out there, too, Adrian. Yeah, and we'll eventually get some sunshine in here as we get into the afternoon, but the clouds still around for just a little longer. Rain totals here across north Texas, in most cases, hovering between a quarter to a half inch. So it was definitely nice to get in on some of that rain throughout the overnight and early morning time period, but the rain now continues to push its way into sections of Louisiana, Arkansas and some snow further off to the north. For us, you can see the cloud cover starting to erode as we are moving into the day today. We'll look for more sunshine through the afternoon. Temperatures are currently coming in into the mid and upper 40s in both Dallas and in Fort Worth. Those winds between 5 and 15 miles per hour. Temperatures this afternoon climb into the mid 50s here across the region. And as we get into the weekend time period, we'll start to see temperatures warm back up, but it'll be a slow climb because as temperatures tomorrow are still in the 50s. We're back up into the 60s on Sunday and both weekend days looking a OK with some sunshine. We do have some more changes coming down the pipeline next week. I'll have details on that. Look at the 10 day coming up. Look, looking forward to that, Adrian. Thank you. Uh, one person died after a major accident in Bedford. The crash forced lane closures uh, here on State Highway 183. This is at Central Drive and this was closed for a number of hours. Three people were taken to the hospital, two with serious injuries and one with a minor injury. A spokesperson with the Bedford Police Department says one of the passengers uh, with serious injuries did die. Lanes have since, though, reopened. The community of Perry, Iowa, still in shock this midday after a gunman opened fire at a school there. We brought this to you as breaking news here on midday yesterday. Uh, it was the first day back after winter break. NBC's Adrian Broaddus reports. And your spirit in this morning, a community coming together after a dark day at an Iowa high school. We've got an active fears activation at Perry High School. Before class started Thursday, police say a 17-year-old student started shooting. Like, there was a bunch of kids that ran out, and they're like, yo, go back, go back, go back to your car. There's a guy with a gun. With a gun. The first 911 call came around 737 in the morning. First responders arriving about seven minutes later, discovering multiple gunshot victims. 
Officers immediately attempted to locate the source of the threat and quickly found what appeared to be the shooter with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Officers found some students sheltering in place while others ran for their lives. A sixth grader killed. He's a neighborhood kid that would come and play with us. And it's the sweetest little kid ever. Police say four other students and a school administrator were injured. This morning, a post from the daughter of the principal, Dan Marburger, saying her dad was in surgery all day and is stable, calling him, quote, a gentle giant and amazing person. Police identifying the shooter as Dylan Butler. They say he was armed with a handgun and shotgun and posted on social media around the time of the shooting, including one post saying, quote, now we wait. Other students have said Butler was bullied and struggled at school. Didn't expect any of what he did today. Overnight, the Perry residents gathering to mourn and finding strength in unity. We are Perry strong. We'll get through this because we have each other. NBC's Adrian Broaddus reporting. Memorials for iconic North Texas lawmaker Eddie Bernice Johnson begin on Monday, but there's been a very disturbing development in regards to her death. Johnson's son now says her death was preventable and the family attorney has put a well-known hospital system on notice that they now plan to sue. They say Johnson had back surgery last year and went back to Baylor Scott and White for rehab, then got an infection. She had another surgery to repair the wound but could not overcome it. She went home on hospice care last month and died New Year's Eve at the age of 89. Her son and that attorney described what happened in her final days. Deplorable. She was being unattended to. She was screaming out in pain and for help. She thought that she wouldn't live three weeks. And she didn't. She knew what happened to her. We discussed it. And she asked me to uh, pursue a case for her um, weeks ago. Baylor Scott and White Institute for Rehabilitation is operated by a company called Select Medical Rehabilitation Services. And in an email, Select Medical declined to comment, but in a statement, Baylor Scott and White said, in part, that we are committed to working directly with the Congresswoman's family members as well as their counsel. Johnson was a 15-term Congresswoman who represented much of Dallas County and was a political pioneer. She will now lie in state at the Hall of State in Fair Park in Dallas. A wake will be held on Monday evening at Concord Church. The funeral will be at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, and then she will be buried on Wednesday at the Texas State Cemetery down in Austin. Texas is one of the most targeted states for cyber attacks in 2023, and millions of Texans were affected as a number of companies became victims of these data breaches. With hackers and technology only continuing to get smarter, experts are now urging Texans to be more careful online in 2024 to avoid having private information floating around online. Irving Mejia Aladio with the Dallas Morning News joins us with more on this one. Irving, thanks for joining us. Good to see you again. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Appreciate it. So uh, six Texas industries were hacked in 2023. Uh, who are some of those big companies that were compromised, Irving? Oh, man. I, I think if you're going to talk about Texas companies that were uh, hacked, the biggest one to probably go into at first is uh, Mr. Cooper. You know, they're yeah. a pretty local company to us here in Texas, you know, based out of here in, in Koppel. You know, uh, they're a mortgage giant, a, a, around four million customers across the nation. And according to data from uh, Ken Paxton's office, around a million Texans were affected by their data breach. You know, but it's not just them. You know, that's sort of just the, the first one here. Uh, there was healthcare cyber attacks that affected about three million Texans here in Dallas, home care providers of Texas, Greater Dallas Health Enterprise. Prizes, you know, UT Southwest, all just to name a few financial services, gas, airlines, uh, even pizza management. Mac pizza management was uh, was hacked last year as well. You know, it's yeah. kind of everybody's a target out here. These big companies uh, carry a lot of private information for a lot of people across our state. How does this affect folks? It's unfortunate, but uh, if you're uh, somebody who's done any sort of work with these companies, whether you're an employee or you're a customer of these companies and your data gets breached, it means that you're more susceptible to identity theft, basically. Your, your credit score could get damaged um, because they'll have access to a lot of stuff, social security numbers, uh, uh, birthdays, you know, even license plate numbers, depending on the companies that we're talking about here, you know. And I think that that sort of results in, uh, in a loss of trust in some of these companies because, hey, if you can't protect my data, you know, how can I give you such confidential information. 
Yeah, the very eye opening here. What can people do at this point to fight identity theft, especially if they think they've been compromised? You know, I think the first thing that I would do is probably just like check if you're even a, a victim of these things. And I think the first way to go about it is by going to this website uh, called Have I Been Pwned? I know, silly name, P-W-N-E-D, Pwned. Uh, it was made by an Australian web security consultant, uh, Troy Hunt. Basically, you just put in your email and it can show you uh, if you've been uh, compromised, your data has been breached anywhere else. If it, if, it, if it says so, chances are it's probably time to change your password, you know, put on two-factor authentication. And um, depending on the information you put in on some of these websites, keep it on your bank accounts because something shady might be happening. Okay, Irving Mejia Haledio with the Dallas Morning News. Uh, Irving, thank you so much. Some good advice there. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You can read more of Irving's work right now. Just go to DallasNews.com. Coming up after the break, we take a closer look at how a very unique music program is helping transform lives of youth in East Fort Worth. And with the growing trend of weight loss drugs, there's a new one out there, and the manufacturer is giving people easier access to it. As NBC5 Midday continues. Closed captioning on NBC5 is sponsored by NFN. Everything to furnish your home. Furniture, flooring, appliances, electronics, and more. Don't miss your chance to shop NFM's huge warehouse clearance savings throughout the entire store. Our clearance items are in stock and ready to take home today. Save up to 65% off suggested retail on furniture and flooring, including sofas, recliners, area rugs, and more. Plus, save up to 60% off suggested retail on appliances and electronics, like dishwashers, TVs, and sound bars. Get something for every room with these incredible clearance prices. Big selection, big savings. Only at NFM. We're going to be late. Your mornings don't have to be rushed. NBC5 Today helps you get a jump on your day. We predict road patterns to keep you on time. And prepare you for the day with our most accurate hour-by-hour -hour forecasts, even on the go. Let's go, Mom. NBC5 Today. Stay on top of breaking news and the biggest stories of the day with NBC News Daily. Get in-depth reporting from across the country and around the world and ways you can take care of your health and your wallet. NBC News Daily, weekdays on NBC. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. With Kroger, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards, whether you shop in-store, pickup, or delivery. That's a win-win-win. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Oh, I happened to be on the freeway, and someone ran me from the back. I called the police, and the police told me they had no one in that location. I went home, called Jim Allen, and told him about my situation. The moment I called Jim Allen, I knew they had it. I knew they was going to take care of me. Scale to 1 to 10, give him a 10. I'm Jim Allen, the Texas Hammer. I got your back. All of our clients are 10 out of 10. 214 or 817 320 Loving the fountain blue. Where are your dreams? Where are your dreams come true? Crafting the perfect latte portrait? Mmm, that takes skill. Ordering lottery tickets on your phone? That just takes Jackpocket. Jackpocket makes playing lottery games like Powerball and Mega Millions so easy that all you need to know is Jack. <gasps> hey, I just won $200. Congrats, girl. Jackpocket. All you need to know is Jack. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. With Kroger, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards, whether you shop in-store, pickup, or delivery. That's a win-win-win. Kroger, fresh for everyone. NBC5 News is sponsored by Crystal by Cirque du Soleil. Okay, when you get a second this midday, this afternoon, take a look at what's in your fridge. There's a recall on ready-to-eat charcuterie meat. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service issued the notice over salmonella concerns. The meats were sold at Sam's Club in 27 states, and that is including Texas. The specific products are 18-ounce plastic tray packages of what's called Bassetto Foods Charcuterie Sampler. They suggest to either throw it away or return to the store for a refund. 
U.S. employers adding 216,000 jobs last month, beating out expectations. The unemployment rate held up at 3.7 percent. That's according to the, labor, the report by the Labor Department. Government jobs and the health care industry saw the most gains. A new drug has emerged in the growing market for weight loss medicines, and it's called ZepBound. And its makers, Eli Lilly, announced a new program to make this and other drugs easier to get. Here's NBC5's Brittany Johnson. Lynn Findelson has diabetes and struggled with her weight. The 56-year-old says she began asking her doctor about Ozempic in 2020. She says he eventually prescribed it, but kept her on a low dose for a year, even though her weight wasn't changing. So she asked about taking a higher dose or a new medicine. I have seen physicians who almost seem afraid to be proactive with people who are overweight. And I think that really impedes getting access to good care. Both Ozempic and Manjaro are drugs for treating diabetes, but also used off-label for weight loss. Wegovy and ZebBound are now the approved versions of the two drugs specifically for weight loss. But as Lynn discovered, securing a prescription for any of these drugs can be a challenge. Eli Lilly CEO Dave Ricks says his company wants to change that. I think a lot of people think of obesity as an issue of willpower. It's not. You know, 40% of adult Americans have excess weight or obesity. That's a big number. Uh, from here, you the can pharmaceutical see. giant launched Lilly Direct, a website where patients can find a doctor in person or via telehealth who can, if appropriate, prescribe certain medicines, among them ZepBound. These drugs need to be used under the supervision of a physician, and we're just offering more choice in that regard. In clinical trials, patients taking ZepBound lost 21 percent of their body weight. Approved by the FDA in November, Wall Street analysts expect it to bring in billions. This is about patient success. Our sales will be the same either way, whether we sell it to uh, CVS or Walgreens or sell it on our website. Brittany Johnson reporting. Fendelson did gain better access to the drugs and lost 65 pounds. Right now, the list price for the drug is just over $1,000 for just a month's supply, and it is not covered by Medicare or many insurance plans. A youth program in Tarrant County is helping change lives through music. The Music and Youth Clubhouse at the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Tarrant County helps kids literally find their voice. The East Side is one of three Boys and Girls Clubs of Tarrant County locations with this program. Our Noah Walker has their story. All right, y'all ready? Okay, so we're going to start in the studio. All right, the hook. We'll, we'll start with the hook first. One, two, ready, and... Money chasers. At the East Side Boys and Girls Club, laying down tracks is a way to lay down a foundation in life. Kids in the music and youth clubhouse write and produce their own music. The middle school age students come with no experience and learn how to play instruments, write lyrics, and produce the music they compose in a state of the art recording studio. The music is a creative outlet and more. This program really is a, a character development program with the music piece being what draws them. Like my goal is not to make professional musicians or recording artists. If it happens, that's great, but really is to impact them on a much deeper level, to get them to make good decisions. And the way I do it is through, is through music. So, you know, playing an instrument or recording the studio can be discouraging if some things aren't coming out how you want it. So having that um, ability to stick with something, you know, not give up, have perseverance, is another uh, way that we teach it. The kids in the Music and Youth Clubhouse also get a chance to take the stage to perform their original raps for others in the Boys and Girls Club. In Fort Worth, Noel Walker, NBC5. And to all the 90s gamers out there, can you believe this one? A 13-year-old boy says he's done something no other has done before. He beat the original Tetris game. Take a look. Oh, my God! Oh! So Blue Scooty is from Oklahoma. He posted this video on his YouTube page. It shows the game suddenly freezing, which means that he beat the game. Listen to this, Adrian. The 157th level. How long did he play the game? I don't know, hey. but I hate to break it to him. In 1997, I did the same thing. You so did? You know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I used to tear up on some Tetris, though. I love Tetris. I feel like he needs to get a scholarship or something, <laughs> some kind of money. Okay, well, congratulations to him.
Uh, meanwhile, weather-wise, um, still some clouds hanging around, but you say we will see some sunshine. We will see some sunshine as okay. we get into the afternoon. The clouds still hanging on across much of North Texas. We're starting to see a few breaks of some blue okay. in Fort Worth. Check out the camera right now uh, where we are looking at just a few peaks of sunshine coming into the mix. Winds have been pretty strong already today. They're coming in out of the south southeast, mostly ranging between 5 and 15 miles per hour, and those winds will get stronger overnight tonight. We're actually watching a weak cold front move through, and that will shift our winds in more out of the northwest once we get past midnight tonight. Temperature right now at DFW sits at 46 degrees, and we're mostly sitting still in the 40s across much of the area. It's 44 in McKinney. It's 45 for you in Greenville. 48, the current temperature in Burleson. We do have a few spots currently sitting in the low 50s from Weatherford back towards Stephenville. We're at 51 in Breckenridge. As we move into the afternoon, we'll start to see some sunshine break through and temperatures today going to be coming up into the mid 50s, which is pretty close to where we typically see high temperatures for this time of the year. 56 today for us here in the Metroplex where the clouds will linger a little longer. It will stay a little on the cooler side. So spots like Paris and Mount Pleasant stuck in the mid number 40s today where we'll see more sunshine a little bit warmer. We're at 60 today in Granbury, 59 for you in Mineral Wells. Future cast going to continue to paint more of a sunny scenario for us as we get into the afternoon hours. The clouds still hanging on though for our eastern locations by three o'clock. More sunshine going to be with us as we get into this evening. There is a small chance for maybe a sprinkle or a light shower. I don't think it amounts to a whole lot, but don't be shocked if you are out late on this Friday evening where you see maybe a raindrop or two on your windshield. Next real rain chance doesn't come in until Monday. We are dry all weekend long, so if you've got plans to maybe take down the holiday decorations Saturday or Sunday, both days looking pretty good for you. As we move into the early part of next week, that's when we'll be watching our next system on Monday. It does bring in some rain, some thunderstorms, a certain possibility here across North Texas, but the severe weather threat with all of this is going to be well off towards our south and east, so we're not looking at anything like that, but a couple rumbles of thunder can't be completely ruled out. The severe weather threat, as mentioned, across southeast Texas from Beaumont back towards Houston, the Victoria Crossroads included in that, so that's going to be the focal point for the potential of some severe weather as we are starting next week. Big changes behind that system. We're looking at temperatures really taking a big tumble. We're just at 48 degrees on Tuesday, Evan. Winds are out of the northwest between 20 and 30 miles per hour, so it's going to feel so much colder once yeah. you factor in those winds. At least no rain. It's going to be uh, really dry. <laughs> okay, Adrian, thank you. Stay with us. Your five stories to know when we come back. NBC5 News is sponsored by NFM. Don't miss your chance to shop NFM's huge warehouse clearance savings throughout the entire store. Our clearance items are in stock and ready to take home today. Save up to 65% off suggested retail on furniture and flooring, including sofas, recliners, area rugs, and more. Plus, save up to 60% off suggested retail on appliances and electronics, like dishwashers, TVs, and sound bars. Get something for every room with these incredible clearance prices. Big selection, big savings. Only at NFM. This year, I made a new resolution to be better, to understand how I got here. It took a team of expert therapists diving deep with an innovative approach, discovering everything about me, my habits, to my family history. They found my root cause and they truly invested in me. Today, I'm on the path to healing and inner health helped me find myself again. Think of the people who have given up on you when you needed them the most. If you've been in a car wreck, you don't want a Houston or corporate lawyer that are chasing million dollar cases and ignoring you. You need someone whose principal office is here in North Texas and is going to fight for you. Call Ben. I don't quit. Say, hello, Ben. Ben Abbott and Associates, don't let an accident wreck your life. Is it finally time to replace that banged up floor with a durable and beautiful laminate floor? Well, we've got you covered. At National Floors Direct, you can get an entire room of laminate flooring installed the next day for just $555. Just $555. These laminate floors from World Famous Shaw can take a beating and still look great. Call 888-400-FLOOR. Get your laminate floor installed the next day, no hidden extras, and no interest for one year. 
Call 888-400-FLOOR. We'll bring the store to your door. At Mr. Jim's Dot Pizza, we're all about making pizza by hand. Take our new hand-stuffed crust. You got it, made by hand. It's only natural because we also hand stretch our dough that's made fresh every day in every store. Not to mention our toppings, hand sliced just right. Add hand stuffed crust to any of my large original pizzas. We'll even hand deliver it right to your door. Order now and get 15% off your entire order at Mr. Jim's Dot Pizza. Tonight, a cold case that haunted a mother. I'll find out who did this. And haunted a city for decades. But with new forensic evidence, can they finally get justice for Gloria? Boom. We get the hit. Dateline tonight, 10, 9 central. For once, is competition between the judges. That was fantastic! I'm so furious! You can do so much better. Howie! With Steve Howie! EGT Fantasy League, Monday on NBC and Peacock. Five stores we're following for you through the afternoon here at NBC5. The city of Dallas receives more than $21 million in federal grant money to help make streets safer. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard was identified for having some of the highest rates of deadly crashes. The family of the late Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson announcing it intends to sue. Baylor Scott and White claiming that the Congresswoman died due to medical negligence. Baylor Scott and White said in a statement that is committed to working directly with the Congresswoman's family members as well as their counsel. At this hour, dozens of firefighters are working to put out this massive fire here in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Officials believe it may take several more hours or even another couple of days to finally put it out. Crime scene tape can still be seen at Perry High School in Iowa. A day after a gunman opened fire, killing a sixth grader and injuring four others, the shooting happened yesterday morning on the first day back to school after winter break. Ahead on NBC5 First at 4, look at how horse therapy is being used to aid those with autism and the many benefits to using animals in therapy. All right, Adrian, we're looking forward to some sunshine at this point. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to get a lot more sunshine as we move into the weekend. Temperature is going to be trending warmer. We're back up into the low 60s on Sunday, and then we'll be watching our next system arrive on Monday with chilly changes to come next week. Okay, Adrian, thank you. And coming up on Texas today, they prepare a healthy mango barbecue chicken recipe from Fit Men Cook. Plus, learn about the Fort Worth Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce Women's Conference and enjoy some Asian food inspired by the flavors of